How's it going YouTube? Hydrax here and in today's video we're going to be doing the breakdown for the brand new Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta or Evolution Blue Vegeta as we all call him. Um, we also got a new spark, uh, not a new sparking, a new extreme Jiren that we will be looking at and I will be doing a banner breakdown alongside the ev new events that are coming today upon reset but let's hop straight into the Vegeta. I do have final form uh, Frieza uh, pulled up here because they are both uh, range type yellow um, limited units. They both came, uh, well Frieza came before Vegeta in terms of releasing. So we're just going to compare his stats right here. Uh, 248k strike attack, that's okay. Blast attack, 252k, so I mean it's okay. Defenses are 160 3k to strike attack defense and blast defense is 163k. Uh, comparing that to this Frieza, um, obviously Vegeta's strike attack is a lot higher. Uh, the rest of the three stats though, um, Frieza's defense is up, well at least his strike defense is a little bit higher, his uh, blast defense is a little bit lower and surprisingly his blast attack is a little bit higher by like 1k. Yeah, by roughly 1,000, which is very unusual. Uh, but uh, stats-wise, um, we all know this Frieza is pretty decent at 6 stars and does some pretty good damage. So let's see what the Vegeta can do by himself. For his main ability, now you can finally see my all. Draw the ultimate arts card, limit break, blow next. Restores own health by 35%, which is good. Uh, plus 20% to special move, awakened ultimate uh, damage inflicted by allies for 30 counts. Applies, buff effect, nullifies, special actions when covering change for 10 time accounts. Okay, so obviously this is meant to nullify Bojack, uh, Bojack's cover change because he can uh, nullify uh, ultimate arts and awaken moves by covering in. Um, this this unique here is pulled directly from the uh, GT SSJ for Vegeta. If we just look at him, uh, I believe he has a, uh, a weaker version of it. Uh, let's look at him Zenkai. -ed. There you go, 30% uh, to special move awaken ultimate arts damage by allies for 20 time accounts. So he does have that from the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I mean, this is pretty good if you want to chain in, um, uh, what's it, uh, ultimates, blue cards, awakened arts, all that stuff. Um, looks like he's going to have a courageous medal, but we will look at that uh, later. Shattering through limits, applies the following effect to self when battle starts, 90% damage inflicted, very very good actually that's very high. Uh, reduces damage received by 30%, cannot be cancelled, what does Frieza get? Does Frieza get the same thing? Yeah he gets 70% but then he gets an extra 30 against tags on family. Okay so that's why, okay? Okay I, I guess that makes sense, 90% is a good, um, reminds me of future Gohan a little bit. Uh, applies the following effects to self when own key is 35 or lower after using an arts card restores own key by 20 plus 25 percent uh, to damage inflict 15 time accounts while this character is on the field applies the following as, uh, effects to self when character when causing a character with a revive when health reaches zero effect to revive okay so this is definitely a um super saiyan 4 this whole thing nullifies on uh, unfavorable elements for 30 counts reduces Enemy Dragon Balls by 2. Yeah, this is definitely just SSJ4 Gogeta's ability just pulled right here. This is this is pretty decent, I suppose, if you're low on key, especially if... Um, no, but then you would have to swap in anyway. So this is pretty decent if you have card draw speed going, which he doesn't seem to have from the first unique. Uh, this is pretty decent. This can be this can be a little bit of a weird unique to get, uh, to get hold of and get using, but uh, still pretty decent if you're low on key. Um, let's see, Sparking Power, the second unique. The following effects occur when changing cover. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws a special move arts card next. That's a blue card. Uh, activates once, reduces damage received by 20 until combo ends. Okay, so this is his cover changing stuff. Uh, damage up by 20, so he's getting about a 50% damage reduction. Um, upon uh, swapping out if he is not able to cover change which is pretty good uh, I, I mean it's not that great he's definitely not super tanky but he is a range type he's not a defensive type knocks enemy back to long range if cover change is performed against their blast arts uh, activates during assists okay comboable special move okay that's good 
Um, it's been a while since we've seen a, a cover change unit that can combo into a blue card. Uh, I think Frieza is one of them can do it, but before that they weren't really, uh, they were trying to incorporate units that don't do that. The following effects occur when enemy switches while this character on the battlefield randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. Uh, I don't really know how effective this is going to be. Um, this might be something that is specific to like maybe Zamasu or something. I don't know because Zamasu destroys, when he KOs a character, he destroys a card. So when you come in with one or fewer cards, or three or fewer, actually this might be decent honestly. I don't really like this unique. Uh, it, it feels like it's going to be difficult to use because uh, enemy switches, you're getting a card. Uh, it's not like he's getting any special effects from his arts card. Um, to me, this is seeming like a very mid, uh, mid-tier mid Zenkai, uh, not a Zenkai, a mid-tier uh, Legends limited unit. Um, we'll have to see what he can do, but 90% damage inflicted is very high. But then again, being a blast unit, I immediately dislike the fact that he's a blast unit. Uh, purely because his main offensive uh, capability is going to be a lot higher costing than a lot of the other units like say strike attacks. So this might be a decent upgrade to God Key and Vegeta family but I'm not liking this final unique very much. Everything else seems pretty decent so far but that final unique man. Okay, um, blast, okay strike does nothing. Blast card reduces key by 30 on hit. Okay, this is this is actually extremely strong. Um, I believe the uh, DBS movie freezer does 50 key, which is a lot. And then uh, there was a Go 10, I believe, that did this as well. Reduces key by 30 on hit. Very very strong actually. Uh, special move Final Flash deals massive impact damage. Nullifies unfavorable actors by three time accounts upon activation. Seals enemy blast cards on hit the seal cards cannot be used for five time accounts Okay, this is actually pretty dumb. Um, he's gonna go neutral and then hit you with the blue card This is like Goku black looks like they're pulling all uniques from all different kinds of characters when they're using those This is definitely gonna hit very hard on top of that. He's sealing blast cards for five time accounts. That's pretty strong actually uh, Green card Randomly draws one new card, restores on health by 10%, 25% damage uh, inflicted for 30 time accounts, cannot be stacked, cannot be cancelled. Okay, so basically, okay, and then reduces damage received by 20% for 30 time accounts, cannot be stacked, cannot be cancelled. Uh, this is a very good green card, it's not an AoE, which a lot of people were suspecting it was. Um, honestly, when I saw the uh, animation for it, it did not uh, give the um, right um, audio dialogue to indicate it was a green AOE attack, but this is a very good uh, green card regardless. You're getting one card, you're restoring your HP by 10%, you're getting damage for 30 time accounts. So let's say you swap into the match, uh, into the battle, you use a green card, you're getting 25%. On top of this 90%, you're getting 110% increased damage. Play your cards right and you get another 25% and that's Pretty, that's pretty substantial considering how strong this guy is and his main offensive capability is reducing key by 30 on hit so he's definitely going to be a bit of an interesting unit to see how much damage he can put up but his ultimate uh, skill here his ultimate his legendary finish deals supreme impact damage applies the following uh, to self upon activation plus 20 percent to special or not special ultimate damage inflicted for three time accounts applies attribute upgrade Minus 50% to enemy sustain damage cut for 3 time accounts. Nullifies enemies restore on health when it reaches 0. Okay, so it basically nullifies endurance, which is nice. Uh, gains 50% damage cut and 20% increase. So that's 20. And I'm assuming he gets his own buff here. 20%. Oh no, it's allies. I mean, that's still pretty good regardless. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. 20% increased here plus his initial 90 pop a green card you get another 25 so you're getting a ton of damage like 135 percent increased already um okay i'm not gonna look at tournament of power it's not really relevant right now 20 percent universe survival saga god key and vegeta family at six stars um this is a pretty good lineup i would say uh, of z ability wise Universe Survival Saga does not have any good ability buffers. God Key is still pretty good, but if you have 6-star uh, Super Saiyan God uh, Vegeta, 
uh, God Vegeta. Yeah, if you have God Vegeta Zenkai, or even if you have the uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan uh, Gogeta as well, you don't really need some for this guy. Honestly, these guys these guys still put up a lot of good uh, a lot of good damage. Plus, this Gogeta has a nullified cover change, which is pretty good. Champa is still decent, I suppose, and this guy's got Zenkai. So, let's look at the Z ability buffers. Yeah, this is. Z how uh, how often are you gonna actually run this Vegeta over Android 17 on this team? Not very often because he has a lot more versatile kit than Vegeta. This guy is just meant to like crush you with pure power, but uh, yeah, it's hard to justify having him on that team or summoning for that tag. Even with the Vegeta family, are you really going? I mean, this Vegeta is really good as a defensive type, but he's meant to be run with Goku's. He's not very bad, but if you have this guy at high stars and you know how to utilize him properly, he's probably going to be a better pick to use over this uh, Vegeta in terms of overall uh, competence for the team because he is a supporting unit. But I did I do agree that they did need another yellow unit because there were only two two yellow units that are very viable on this team apart from the Zenkai God Vegeta. Uh, I can't really justify summoning for this guy just yet. He seems decent, I suppose. He's giving me very uh, Reminiscent vibes of Super Saiyan 4 LF uh, Goku when he released. He does a lot of good things here and there. Um, hopefully his damage does pick up quite a bit because looking at his uniques per se, he's meant to be run against like uh, like the revival Gohan, I suppose. But even then, too, it's very it's very difficult because he is a yellow unit. Be and we all know FSK Gohan is irrelevant. Like, he's really relevant right now because of how uh, insane hybrids are. So you're probably not going to want to use too many yellow units. And this entire last unique doesn't seem very useful to me. Uh, everything else, like, above here with the cover change, with destroys one uh, of your own cards, draws a special move. Very good, especially when you cover change in the blast card, you're automatically getting a free hit off an, on an opponent. Okay, let's get Jiren. Uh, I'm not going to pull up any stats for Jiren, but he's looking pretty decent for an extreme unit at 14 stars. Highly unlikely you'll get him 40, maybe at 3 stars, but even then, his defenses, his stats look pretty trash. As is the case with most EX units these days, uh, at 3 stars. Main ability, Resolve of the Mighty, draw a special arts card next, that's a green card, plus 20% damage inflicted, okay that's good, minus 5% or f minus 5 to own strike and blast arts, cost, um, applies attribute upgrade, shorten substitution count by 3 for 20 time accounts, okay, I mean this is okay I suppose. Mm, it's, 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 it's okay. 40% damage inflicted against Taxon family or Tag God Key. This is a huge. This is huge. For um, this is huge for the game because this is this can be a direct, like, plea against a uh, father son Kamehameha Gohan. Very good. 40% increased. I would like to see some damage reduction though. Applies the following effects to self and battle starts. 90% damage inflicted. That's actually extremely high. Actually. Reduces damage received by 30 and 40 to Q recovery. All of these are non cancelable. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's gonna hit pretty hard actually. Considering how his stats are, this actually makes sense. Um, applies following sex, uh, effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. Restores HP by 5%, 40% to special move inflicted for 15 counts, which is nice. The following effects occur when changing cover. This is the Dauntless Spirit. Reduces damage received by 30% until combo ends. Nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 5 time accounts. Activates 4 times. Reduces enemy key by 20. The following effects occur after enemy attack is over. Plus 20% of damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Plus 20% of damage inflicted by allied episode universe survival saga or rival universe. 15 time accounts. Yeah, okay, Jiren is very good actually. He's extremely good. He's restoring HP, he's getting 40% uh, special move. When he's changing cover, he's getting 60% damage reduction, which is a lot high, but 10% higher than Vegeta's, I'm, I'm afraid. 20 and then 30. Yeah, he's actually getting a lot higher defense 
coming in to a cover change than the oh well he is a defense type okay that makes sense okay that makes sense uh, but still 60% defense uh, cover change restores um, reduces enemy key by 20% or 20 and then uh, nullifies on unfavorable element factors by 5 time accounts yeah 5 time accounts activates 4 times that's that's like the red hit the EX red hit what he does this is going to be extremely useful um, especially if you're trying to run this uh, Jiren on Universe Survival Saga or Rival Universe because I'm pretty sure that's what he uh, buffs right here. Strike Attack has Blast Armor. Okay, that's interesting for an EX unit. Um, deals massive explode damage, inflict enemy with attribute downgrade 30% damage received for 20 time accounts. Blast Armor. Uh, special skill restores on health by 15 and key by 30. Can support all attribute downgrades. This kind, this is like the uh, Zenkai Super Saiyan Blue Gokus green card except he gets damage as well uh, but the fact that I think this is this might be the first EX unit that has blast armor on a strike yeah this might be the first actually and then um, he's buffing universe survivor saga rival universe pretty obvious from his uh, uniques here what he's buffing yeah man Jiren is extremely good actually god key god key and son family this is extremely good uh, uniques to have against so he's coming in with a hundred and thirty percent increased damage against tag son family or tag god key which is extremely extremely high couple that with another forty percent from a special move if you manage to get that off that's that's a hundred and seventy percent increased damage i'm liking the jiren a lot better than um this uh vegeta honestly he has blast armor he heals a ton uh, heals when he comes into the match, he gets 40% increased damage. He can cover change uh, four times safely without worrying about elements. He can. Um, he has blast armor on strike cards, he has blast armor on a babu card. This guy's insane. This is like a basically a better version or like an in tune version of the other Jiren. They're like the, practically the same. If you have this guy at like 14 stars, you're, you're not gonna really be taking much damage considering that he's going type neutral. And he's getting like 60% damage cut. You're not going to be doing much against him. But yeah, definitely a good EX unit. I would like to see how he ends up developing in the meta considering how prominent Sun Family and Hybrids are. But let's look at the summons. The summons are called the time to evolve. It looks like we're getting the coins again uh, to exchange in the shop. Um, looks like they changed up the banner format. We got a free step here. There's what, five steps? So step one, you're getting three summons for 300 chronos. Step two is 500 chronos for five characters. Require seven characters. Okay, so you're basically paying three and a half thousand chrono crystals to go through one rotation, and to get uh, five medal, no, four medals, uh, five medals once, and then you come back to step two, and then it's four medals every every step from there on. Um, free step is definitely a big W, but I would rather take in another thousand chrono crystals here and given us a maybe an X2 rate step and given us a maybe um, two uh, medals here instead. For the banner units, okay, there's only the two. I was actually afraid of this when I uh, saw this Vegeta when they didn't release another unit. He's the only Legends Limited featured character on this banner, uh, the only new sparking featured character, and then Jiren is the only new. Uh, featured EX unit on this banner. Then we have, well, looks like the androids are coming back, both the T.O.P. androids, which is pretty good. This Android 18 and 17 are extremely good. Looks like UI, Vegeta, Vegito, and Gogeta are back. This Super Saiyan God Vegeta hasn't been on many banners as of late, and then you got Beerus here. These are the, the featured, yeah, these are going to be part of the featured pool of, uh, Legends Limited units, and then we have all the rest of the units on here. Yeah, man, this is a very wide banner. Look at this. They all have the same rates as... Basically... Yeah, they all have the same rates. Yeah, okay, Trunks and Maya back as well, which is nice. DKP. Yeah, this is this is not a good banner. If I'm looking at it, like, realistically, these... Okay. Zenkai. Old, old, pretty decent... Uh, old, both of them are old, decent, old, old, well, pretty bad actually nowadays. Decent, bad, 
bad, decent. No one runs them anyways. Not that great now. Decent, uh, bad, 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 decent, bad, actually decent. Okay, bad, bad, decent, decent, pretty shitty actually. Uh, bad, bad, decent, decent, bad. These guys are pretty decent. He's actually pretty decent. He's actually really good. Decent, I suppose. Decent, decent, really good. Really good, decent, and pretty decent. Man, this banner is really hard to justify summoning for this unit. Honestly, I would actually just throw in like maybe one rotation 3.5k. Or don't even summon actually, because this banner is going to be here for like the next month. So I would rather just, well, personally speaking, I would rather just save and just wait to see what happens. Uh, honestly, because we, re we, we might actually get a second banner that's actually going to be better than this. This might be like another bait banner. But I'm not liking the format that they've been doing recently with releasing only one uh, featured sparking unit, new featured sparking unit on uh, banners like this, especially step ups. But uh, for new events, we're getting the ultimate equipment collection. Looks like the uh, TOP uh, equipment is coming back, and you can grind this from the event. Um, honestly, do it if you need to, if you run that team. If you want to get it for Vegeta, that's also another great thing. Uh, we're getting another Extreme Clash raid against Topo. And obviously, they have to make Vegeta the increased medal drop for the Courageous Brave Battle medals. He's actually going to get plus one. And it doesn't look like there's going to be another unit. Oh, okay, there's the breakdown here. Uh, who else is going to be the uh, best units to run here? Uh, Vegeta Family and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. So you can run UI Goku, uh, Zenkai Khalifla, and then you have the uh, new Vegeta. If you don't have these units, these are the breakdowns here for what units the best. Vegeta Family and then Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Maybe run this Blue Go uh, Vegeta here or this one here. Or maybe even the purple one too because you're getting that same buff. Uh, but still, you're getting another raid. Kind of shitty that they limited it just to the Vegeta. And then we got Super Scout Battle coming back. Sagas from the movies, Universe Survival Saga and then Vegeta Family. I wouldn't recommend doing Vegeta Family, honestly, these units aren't that great. Universe Survival Saga, these units are pretty good as bench units, they do quite a bit of uh, support, especially with their uh, Z abilities, and then Sagas from the movies, I wouldn't recommend doing this either. Uh, Broly is still pretty good, um, they all do different things, but I would recommend you grind up the Universe Survival Saga tag for this one. But anyways guys, let me know what you think of the Vegeta, honestly, I wouldn't recommend summoning on his banner. Or maybe if you do, just maybe do one rotation and call it quits because one featured LF sparking unit is not the way to go. Especially now with how saturated the game is, I really feel like we do need some more countering units to set metas like the hybrid Saiyans. Jiren is absolutely a beast though. Vegeta, not so much in my opinion, but he can definitely be good uh, when you run him alongside Vados and the God Key team. As for Vegeta family, you're probably going to end up He's, he's going to end up competing with the yellow um, Angel Vegeta for that. But on uh, Universe of Avatar Saga, I don't think he has Android 17 here beat in terms of uh, a main spot on the team. Especially considering that at 6 stars or higher, you really want him to be at that 6 stars. Uh, you're not going to be really running him at 2 stars, especially with FSK Gohan running around. Uh, 6 stars Zomasu's, all these other red units like... Um, Ultra Ultra Goku from the Namek Saga, all these red units are pretty prominent right now. So I don't think yellow was a good color for him. Maybe you should have made him green or purple. Even blue would have been another decent color. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name is Hydrax and I'll catch you all later.